thyroid gland. This is classical thyroid tissue. There's nothing else in the body that looks like it. Uh, sometimes when your kidneys become inflamed, the tubules distend like this and they're filled with pinkish proteinaceous material and that could look a little bit like thyroid. Sometimes when breast lobules are very, very, very significantly lactating, they could look like it. And as we saw in the previous case, there's always a few little looking colloid filled follicles in the uh, small amount of uh, intermediate lobe of the pituitary. Otherwise, like I said, nothing else in the body looks like thyroid. The thyroid is extremely easy histology because all it is are these uh, epithelial lined uh, spaces or small cysts filled with pinkish inspissated uh, colloid. And you notice there's a considerable variation in the size. Here's a couple of the bigger ones and here's a couple of the smaller ones. There's a good amount of variation and if you go further and further and zoom up a little bit on this thyroid, you will see that the uh, every single colloid follicle of the thyroid is lined by a simple, non-stratified, relatively cuboidal type of epithelium. Uh, this is basically the picture no matter where you go in any part of the thyroid. The intervening uh, tissue between the follicles, the interfollicular uh, connective tissue is uh, extremely vascular uh, and even in these tiny little septae between adjacent follicles you will invariably without stretching your eyes too much see a nice little plexus of uh, blood vessels capillaries there's one there's one there's one that's it for the thyroid but there's one other thing i want to show you uh, which uh, is extremely important as you know, these are the cells that create the uh, thyroid hormone through the complex uh, technique of uh, entrapping iodine and substances and then pouring out the storage form of the hormone which is stored here inside the follicle. But don't forget to look in this connective tissue between the follicles because the thyroid makes two hormones. Besides making thyroid hormone, the active form being T3 and T4, it also makes another hormone called thyrocalcitonin. Sometimes it's just called calcitonin. And the cells which make calcitonin are found in these little spaces between the follicles. And they look like uh, typical endocrine looking cells. They'll have a little bit of a pinkish cytoplasm. They'll have a round nucleus. This may very well be one or two over here, but I wanna find you better examples. So let's move around a little bit. It's usually not too much traveling you have to do before you find some nice cells which makes calcitonin. And these cells are called uh, parafollicular cells because the cells which makes the make the thyroid follicles are follicular cells. So the parafollicular cells would be in the space between the follicles. Sometimes they're called C cells. Sometimes they're called light cells. And I think I see a couple of them over here. And uh, don't get the impression that they're hard to find just because I'm having a little bit of a hard time now. Usually they're pretty easy to find. And here I got a couple of really nice ones for you over here. Here is a nice uh, parafollicular cell over here. There's probably a couple nice ones over here. Sometimes they occur singly, more likely they occur in a, a couple of cluster of similar cells that look like it. And remember, they are not follicular cells like you see here, and they are not the connective tissue cells you might see in the space between the follicles either. I feel obliged to find you one more before we go home on this case. Um, I really wanna find a classical one for you. I want you to memorize it. And then I want you to know that uh, and feel confident that parafollicular cells are really not that hard to find. I think I might be able to find you a couple of good ones here. I think we could safely say that these cells are probably parafollicular cells too. They have a little bit reddish cytoplasm. There's a couple of them together. This may very well be one here. Uh, this may very well be one here. And usually they stand out a little bit more uh, distinctly than what we're seeing here, but this could be a staining phenomenon. 
And I think that's all we want to say about thyroid. Thyroid gland, uh, master metabolic gland of the body, uh, weighs from about 12 to 25 grams, and uh, you know what it does. Thank you very much.